going on youtube it's your boy ogt man and today we got my boy poncho again i looked in one of the comments they was like somebody was over here already hating these are my first few videos like if you didn't hear me clearly say it's my first time doing it so chill out on me dude was like you don't even know how to pop up the name whoever you was i hope you watch this again you hating motherfucker shut your bitch ass up boy but um anyways now that we got that out of the way, we reacting to entitled TikTok gym influencers are everywhere. Now, full disclaimer, if you're going to do TikToks in the gym, learn how to be out of people's way. And don't be mad because people trying to work out and you in the way. Now I get sometimes it be some weirdos in there, you know, trying to, or females trying to, you know, start some shit. But at the end of the day, you know, if it's your fault, take accountability. If it's their fault, talk to men and say something to them. That's all I got to say about it. If I see somebody in the tick doing a little TikTok shit, I'm walking out. Enough said. Anyways, let's start the video and the talking. And I see what's about to happen, but I just keep working out for a second. Ladies and gentlemen, gym influencers a great way to help people get in the gym now there are two types of gym influencers here we have gym influencer type a and here we have type b some of these gym influ i didn't go to the gym never mind those egos have gotten so big that they think they got superpowers or something. I don't know what's going on over there on that side of TikTok, but gym influencer type Bs are on the loose right now. And uh, that's what we're going to be looking at. So drop a like. Trying to beat the falling off YouTuber allegations. So help me get the two mil, bro. Subscribe to the channel. Let's take a look at this. Hey, subscribe to Pancho. P-A-N-C-H-O. You know, they thought he fall off. I like his content. Let's watch. <laughs> Hey body, nobody gives a fuck about your shit. The fact that this guy decided to put his hands on somebody and then say, have some consideration all in the same breath, he must have woke up on the wrong side of the bed or something because this dude is not thinking straight. Huh. Why'd this dude prop up his phone in the gym acting like he's an NBA player in a post-game interview? Come on, but you are not him. Like, I'm <laughs> you are not him. <laughs> yeah, nah, that's funny. Let me stop pausing the video, though. Y'all, some of these TikTok gym influencers need to go. I've been seeing them on my feed way too often. A lot of them just don't even entail. And what I mean by that is like they don't they don't dish out the sauce. It's just a bunch of people wanting to film themselves on camera at the gym. And I guess those personality gym TikToks are cool and all. But I don't know. I stopped following a lot of them and I just, I don't know. Sam Sulek is the only one I really got respect for like that. And Bradley Martin. But I mean, the rest, it's not looking too good. We got bro out of here filling in the gap. And I know the gym people are going to come in here like, bro, what do you mean? We have Greg Duchesne. We have tons of influencers out here. You're just not looking. I mean, by this point, Sketch has probably got to be my favorite gym influencer. No kizzy. Eve to me is the base. No, 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 no. I won't get no money from moi. How hard is it to understand that you do not own the gym? She's lifted so damn close to the rack, but at least she wasn't a bitch about it. But she can still scoot back a good 20 feet. Okay, so this is me and my, like, second set. And I see what's about to happen, but I just keep working out for a second. Okay, so this is me and my, like, second set. And I see what's about to happen, but I just keep working out for a second. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I don't even think she heard what bro was saying. Did she not listen? Duh. I.
be mindful. You don't own the gym. I can I can understand. You know, if the machine over there did work, and it's not like the dude even got mad or for real. She he was like, oh, I'm sorry. I'll move my I'll move my stuff. He was like, do what you gotta do. And then she started going off on dude. I'm like, damn. Bitch, I'm trying to work out just like you. Calm down. Damn. Them nasty ass braids in your head, bitch. Shit probably smell like 10 pounds of bounce that ass. I'm cool. I don't because the sweat's in my eyes burning. He just threw me in the middle of his set and I got eyes. First of all, fun. He is not disturbing you. He is in his own space. He's like a good seven feet away from you. Second of all, he gave you a good reason for why he was there, bro. The machine that was on the other side of the gym didn't work. <laughs> Basically, all I'm saying is chill out on Unk. He's just trying to get his sets in just like anybody else. Let him live. Let him do his workouts. Your asthma's got nothing to do with this. I got asthma. Well, I got eczema. Where is bro? He hasn't popped up in the frame at all. That's how I know he's at least five feet away because we can't even see him. She's definitely got her space in this video. I think she's just, you know, having an entitled moment. I couldn't even defend my little corner. And this is what I mean, you heard it from her. Defend my little corner. It is not your corner. You do not own any square foot footage in the gym like it'd be a different thing if the guy was super close to her while she was lifting then it'd be reasonable but we couldn't even see the guy in the frame so i doubt it was seriously a problem i'm sounding like a gym employee explaining this whole situation what the fuck hey so uh the guy was around 10 feet away from you while you were lifting so unfortunately ma'am you're tweaking <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this one's funny, bro. Got Gramps going hard today at the gym. That's how we do it, Gramps. Good shit, locking in on this early morning. Beautiful, Gramps. Hey, to all the Terminally Online kids watching this video right now, take some notes from Gramps, bro. Look at this form. This is peak performance. Come on, get your ass in the gym. Gramps is outperforming you. But nah, do y'all understand what I'm getting at when I'm showing you these TikTok? There just seems to be a lot of these entitled gym influencers who literally act like they own the gym. Like, it's not a public building. And these TikToks have YouTubers talking about them, talking about how they think that gym influencers shouldn't even bring cameras in the gym, which I don't agree with. I think that's going a little too far because some people want to bring their cameras in the gym and film their forms just so they can improve and understand their form and what they need to correct and to have a video that they can look back at. <laughs> you see the you see the way how the nigga who he's showing right now is trying to do the dumb bit. <laughs> nigga just said fuck it. Oh shit. <laughs> and uh, back to the video. To improve. People can bring their cameras in the gym, but you gotta be okay with people like Gramps potentially getting in your shots, bro. Come on. It's a public gym. It's not your own. And listen, listen, based tip incoming. That's why you gotta go to a gym that's empty. Find a gym membership in your town that's not overcrowded like Crunch. I go to this gym where like there's nobody going there almost all hours of the day and I can just lock in, put my earbuds in, in peace. All machines are open. I don't have to wait for a set or anything. And I don't know. I live in Kansas now so it's a little bit different and I remember being back in Orlando, Florida where all the gyms would be crowded. Bro, one time I had to wait for five minutes to get on the bench. I was sick. Point being, there was a lot of people so if you do want to record in the gym maybe find an empty gym i'm sure the gym memberships are like they're around the same price and stuff like that like you should be good just uh stop acting like you're the main character in the crowded gyms all right, all right. that's what she said and you know what i what was that oh, okay james bro not gramps again why are we making fun of gramps he's like seven years old in the gym dog i swear i have the story of the seven year old in the gym that i was working out in the same room with the other day this seven year old dude knocked out like 30 pull-ups should have me in shock bro i can only knock out 15 and drop how many pull-ups y'all can knock out in the comment section but the average person cannot do 30 and this guy was like 70 years old knocking out 30. he must have been bumping the new future album or something bro because this dude was going crazy and it was at the end of the day we love gym influencers it's just that some of them act a little cuckoo sometimes and some people got to give them the cold hard truth i know it sucks but you can't go around acting like you got special privileges in the gym it's not gonna happen we're not making this a popular thing thank you let me know if y'all want to see me take an unhealthy amount of pre-workout and crank out a gym vlog i can definitely all right now he just now he just chapping about shit 
But um, anyways, what y'all thought about it? Me personally, I agree with him on most of the stuff. But you know, and you know, I agree with him on mostly everything. You know, it don't don't feel entitled like it's your gym. Like if that was the case, just go to a gym that's completely empty. Two, you know, if it does come in the case where somebody is over there like way too close, like in camera, like damn near like right here, then it's reasonable. You can get mad. Just just don't be like blowing off, like going off on people unless they start with you. Without that being said, I ain't got nothing else. It's your boy OGT Main signing out.